Welcome back to Emotional Mojo. Listen, if your life is totally out of balance, it's time to call in the expert. In a moment's notice, your life can go from a whisper to a shout. Say, my life is about to go from a whisper to a shout. I love that. If you want to shout, then you need to pay attention because joining us now is a life coach author, career expert, and entrepreneur. Could you do anything else, please? I don't yeah. need to. <laughs> so welcome to our show. Welcome. We're so happy to have you. Thank you. And Thank this you. is something we've talked about on the show. I mean, you've got yes. kids and work and school yes. and friends. Mm -hmm. Our lives are so hectic. What is the secret to balancing it all? I tell you, the secret to balancing your kids and um, all the things they do. My kids are in so many activities. I have a college graduate now. But I tell you, if I didn't go by a to-do list, I tell people it's mm -hmm. so simple. A lot of times they think it's real complicated to get their life in balance. Yeah. But you have to have a to-do list. That's one of those things that you can just write down what you want to get done for the day and then just say, okay, this is what I want for prior prioritize for my business or for my personal and mm -hmm. professional life. And then this is what I want to do for my personal self. Ooh, and so it's, it's just real simple. It's all you, are planning. you are all over the place. I mean, yeah. we're just but I couldn't examples. do it without a to-do list. Yeah. I just couldn't we do it. We love lists around here, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Always... What if you don't get to everything on the list? Then, yeah. You move it to the next you day? You just say forget what? it. If you, you, That's what causes people to feel like they're out of balance because they feel like they ran out of time. Like, I didn't get to everything on my list, and so I failed. Right. Yeah. You have to forgive yourself for not getting thing, everything done mm -hmm. on your list. And really, balance comes down to choices. The real key word for balance is choices. Uh -huh. Every single day, we have to make choices. Yeah. And what you have to do is just get up today and say, where are the most important choices that are going to get me toward my goals? Mm -hmm. Where do I want to be right now in life? What is yeah. it what I'm trying to achieve? And those choices should line up with where you want to go. So, hey, you may have to make a choice that this day I can't go to the soccer game. And you're not a right. bad mom because you miss one soccer game. If that meant, like today, you have to be on a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, and actually, like today, my kids, they had a parent-teacher conference thing this morning. And so, you know, there was a choice. Do yeah. I, you know, I had the show, I had the parent teaching conference, you know, ordeal. You Do I feel like I'm not a good parent because I didn't show up? Well, my kid's getting all A's. It's okay. Yeah. He's right. Well, doing that's good, the thing is you know? I think a lot of it is prioritizing. Yeah, it's prioritizing. You know, figuring out what, and, and that's where you learn to say no as a woman you is learn. I have to prioritize and some things do some fall things down fall, and fall yeah. off. Absolutely. I noticed you saying you're going to take life from a whisper to a shout. And we talk about that. positive <laughs> affirmations a lot mm -hmm. on the show. How yeah. important is that? to success in life? Everything. Every, I think you have to, every single day, talk to yourself because you have this inner voice going on all the time. Yeah. In your head, you're always hearing things, you know, you can't do it or, you know, you're not good enough and that kind of thing. And you have to silence those voices. Mm -hmm. But I don't think you should just sit there and listen to them. You just need to speak back to them. So that's where the positive affirmations come in. Yeah. Not just looking at them, but actually reading them. I, I made a big shift in my life when I stopped just posting them up with my sticky notes all over the place, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I started actually getting up in the morning and saying what I was posting. Mm -hmm. I it like made that. a big, it made a huge difference because yeah. I was, you know, people would come to me, even the clients I would coach, and say. I have a wall full of stickies and nothing's happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I had to come to an answer, a conclusion. I said, well, I have a wall full too and there's not a whole lot happening. <laughs> <laughs> and so I realized that it's not just the words that you're looking at, but it's the words that you say and actually affirm to yourself. Okay. Yeah. And so that's a real important key. It's a missing agreement ingredient to get up and say, you know, I, I can do this today. And or, I imagine a lot of your clients are women, but do yes. you see more and more men dealing with this too? Yes. Like our challenge today is for men to express emotions. Mm -hmm. I think they need to prioritize as well, right? In the last two years, I've gotten more men clientele. Really? And I think it's one because of the job market. Um, they've been in transition and a lot of them lost their jobs that they've been at for like 10 years. And they were at a loss because they've been used to having this daily routine. They've been used to doing something that was secure. And then all of a sudden, the bottom falls out. They have from a lot them. of pressure, too. Yeah. Right? It's yeah. Not just and the so yeah. they said, you know what, I need a coach. And a lot of them wanted a female coach instead of a male coach because they felt like you could understand what they were going and through. Do you a tell bit men better. the same thing? Do they do the yeah, affirmations? Yeah, I do. Stuff? I tell them the same thing. And it's really life changing for them. And we want to congratulate you too and mention yeah. you have a new book that just came out, what, like two oh, days ago? Oh, it's so <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's, you know, talking about affirmation, the book is called Success Attraction 
um, quotes and notes, and it's for balancing your life and um, living with sanity. And so it's a great book because the whole book has, for each chapter, has an affirmation. Okay. And it's my own quote, it's my own affirmation that I came up with. And then after the affirmation, it explains how do you apply this affirmation to your life? What Love do you it. do with it? Right. Then after that, it has a journal entry where you can take the affirmation, what I said, and then you take it and you journalize about it. What does this mean to me and how am I going to use it in my life? And then after that, it has where it says, I decree. And then you actually say this that day. And then it goes for 30 days. So in 30 days, you should have a bit of sanity and be inspired. Well, thank you for joining us. We're going to have you stick that. around a little bit with us as well. So thanks. All and make right. sure you guys check out her book.